What's up, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Black to Move. Black to Move. And. As always, pause your video. I'm trying to figure out what you would do here. So it seems to be some kind of Bengal Gambit, which honestly, I just don't know how to play. But hopefully, I can come up with some good idea here. Um. I really don't know what to do. I just, it's just not my position. I'm just not a big expert at all in this line. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I would just take on b5, I guess. I get some open lines in the <laughs> king's queen side, but uh, it doesn't seem like the answer they're looking for. Hmm. Let's see, what could some ideas be? E6? I mean, he's not castled yet. Try to do something regarding that, maybe. I don't really know. H6, if bishop h4, knight h5. Well, that's troublesome, at least. Create some annoyance in, in the position. It's good to be annoying, right? If he takes an f6, we have a nice... Uh, Bishops, you know, two bishops. Knight h5 immediately? Then he can go bishop e2. Alright, let's calculate some, some lines. If h6, bishop h4, knight h5, queen f3. But, you know, looks like a nice, um, nice thing for us. The queen in f3 is not perfect. And like maybe ideas of queen a5 to b4. We're attacking some things. And if he ever goes g, like like h6, g3, like f5 gives us the e5 square, so we're happy. And g3 is bishop is out of play. So that feels kind of cool. And I think we have d4 squares. I, I, I don't know. I mean, queen a5 to b4 still. It's just like a little, a little awkward for him maybe. His king's still in the middle. So I'm not like even scared of this, because I, I get to go here. And he wins a bunch of pawns, but... I don't know. It's, I'm kind of curious, just the evaluation in this position. Just because... Uh, you know, he, we're down three pawns, but I have a feeling it's okay for us. That stupid Houdini is not working. Oh, also, maybe we win the piece back immediately. Oh, no, yeah, because bishop here, f6. Worst case, we can take the piece back. So, oh, no, knight f for might save the piece actually, but we can also like just, just do this, and we're down two pawns now. But have some squares. The question though, like ninety five, ninety five immediately is interesting too. With the idea of h six, it's interesting. The problem was I, I didn't like bishop e two. Although maybe then we could take on b5. I can't I can't quite figure out which, if we want to go knight h5 first or, or h6 first. Somehow I want to play that move for for some reason. Uh, if I was playing a game. Uh, which one would I do? I really can't figure it out. Mm. I guess immediate knight h5. Because we have another issue. Like, if bishop e2, h6, take, take. Kind of cool for us. I'm just going to go knight h5. Screw it. Let's puzzle 24, let's see what the answer is. 24, Grunfeld versus Fiddler. No, that's not it. What? Am I looking at the wrong position? It's totally not the position. It's not the position from the game. It's 23, they got confused in the book here. <laughs> 
All right, the answer is listed under 23. Knight h5, woo! In this position, we have a king's Indian defense with the variation being a four-pawns attack. The difference between normal positions from this variation and the specific one here is that the white has his bishop on g5. This weakens the dark squares behind the pawns, and the drawback is excellently exploited by none with the following move. Knight to h5 with the obvious threat of h uh, h6. I'm so good at chess. Queen f3, f6. Oh, and then he goes knight takes f4. Look at that. g5, ooh. And if pawn, bishop takes, pawn takes, rooks opens up. Pawn takes, queen takes, knight e5. Look at the beautiful knight. Bishop, pawn takes, bishop takes, queen a5, and black is better. Why is that? After castle? Does he castle? He doesn't castle. Why not? Castles would seem appropriate to me, but he doesn't do it for some reason. I have the funkiest idea why not. He goes queen g3 instead. But I'm looking off screen with a chess base. It agrees that it agrees with all this junk. Although it doesn't think like black is so much better in that position. What do I do? Queen h Hold on, I'm just checking real quick. My analysis. What do you do after an 85 in the game? Oh, bishop e2. Which is... I mean, yeah, Houdini thinks black's better, but not by much. It says if castle's queen b4, and black has some slight edge. Interesting, but uh, yeah, knight h5 looks like a, a good, cool move. I got it right, so way to go me. Um, also, h6 gets similar marks from Houdini. Just kind of thinks it's... Excuse me, it's the same thing, like after bishop h4 and eight h5. So I think both were reasonable ideas. Um, those are the two moves that none, this one, none played, and it's definitely the moves that Houdini likes the best as well. Uh, it also considers pawn takes pawn first to be reasonable, but I feel like that gives white a free developing move for no reason. So, whatever. Um, good job, none. Bad job from Agard for misnumbering the answers. I played none in Blitz before. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, if I can say that already. He got lucky against me. I was beating all those English people, man. I was in I was in the UK and we were playing Blitz with a bunch of people. And he was he, he beat me 2-0. Oh, I think I beat everyone else though. I was crushing him the first game. And then the second game. Forget. One game I totally shouldn't have lost. And the other game. I don't know. He's a good player though. Sharp tactician. Nice guy, too. All right. See you guys tomorrow for more puzzles. Bye-bye.